Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. Uh, not bright and early. It's probably around 10 o'clock. So I did not get up early this morning. I took the chance to sleep in a little bit. And uh, I'm out in the garage right now. Uh, and it's going to be a full day in the garage. However, it's unfortunately not going to be a full day in that garage. <laughs> it's going to be a full day in the main garage. We have Thanksgiving coming up. And you can see I have junk on top of here. I have junk down beside there that uh, was for sale. I'm gonna pull the cars out, you know, and just kind of go through the garage and just kind of clean everything up, um, get it ready for Thanksgiving. So I've got a full day of vacuuming cobwebs and cleaning out the windows where the bugs get in there and die and just basically putting stuff back where it goes to get this garage in shape so that we can heat it and have Thanksgiving here in the garage. So I'm gonna keep you updated on that. If you're not interested, please skip this video. If you're curious and just wanna hang out for a while, I'm good with that too. Take care and I will keep you posted. Now that I've got the cars out of here, I'm gonna give you a little better shot of what we're up against. Got some things over here, need to go out to the shed. Um, this is my daughter's throwback for lacrosse. It was supposed to get sold, but it never got put on Marketplace. We got the gerbil balls. Those have to stay in the garage. There's nowhere to put them. So we'll just roll them out on the back patio the day of. In the neighborhood, we have to keep the trash and recycle in the garage. So once again, back patio stuff. Uh, got to get my compressor moved into the other garage. A couple of items here need to be taken care of. I think that's going to uh, Goodwill. And then the cart, I think, is supposed to get sold. Just like that, but it just never made it on Marketplace. Uh, Christmas decorations are here. <laughs> and as you can see, they are disshambled because we have been digging through them looking. Uh, it also has Thanksgiving decorations, Halloween decorations in those bins. And my wife has been looking through them. So uh, they're kind of disheveled, but I'm going to get those straightened back up. I got to put my paint can somewhere. This past year, I repainted almost every room in the house. So we have a lot of, uh, you know, little bits of paint left and I need to shuffle those guys somewhere. More Christmas stuff here. These are some things my wife has. We just keep them covered up and in that corner at for safety. That is my cabinet where I keep all of my car supplies for washing our cars, taking care of the cars, a lot of other stuff in there. If we're gonna get the top cleaned off, we'll just lock, let that stay locked up and not a big deal. Some junk there needs to clean up. This is all stuff that I had except for the uh, ice cream maker and the uh, heater. Stuff that I had for sale and the wagon, that wasn't for sale, but uh, stuff I had for sale over the summer before I went to the show there in September, uh, Mid Ohio Valley, and we've got to get that stuff put somewhere. Most likely that's all going to go back in the shop. I hate that because I love the extra room, but you can see the sh it's not that bad. But what we really need to worry about is during the summer, I cleaned this last year for Thanksgiving. During the summer, this is what happens. All of the bugs come in, they get in the windows and they die. We're gonna clean all of that out. Uh, around the ceiling, I don't really see any spider webs, but yeah, there's a few over there by the modem. Uh, but we'll get those cleaned up, you know, just get everything cleaned and we'll start at the top. We'll dust everything, bring it all down. We'll get the windows clean. We'll clean off the garage door. Uh, a couple of items like that and the ice cream maker will go up in the top shelves up there and we'll just get this cleaned up and we'll make it a real nice space. And with that heater, I can heat it up fairly nice in here. I can get up to about 70, 72, 73 degrees in here and it'll be a real nice place for Thanksgiving. And back there, we have our big tables that we use. Uh, my wife has a uh, trunk full of chairs that she borrows from her work. And uh, we'll just set the tables up, put some tablecloths on, some decorations, and we'll get this place set up for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna get the music cranked up and we are gonna get busy. The garage is clean. The ladder is still out because I'm gonna go hang these wreaths. And this is still out because I'm gonna bring the rest of them in here. There are uh, six more out there that will get brought in here and they'll all get stored behind the trailer. All I gotta do is put this stuff on the patio for the party, put the uh, tables down. I'll find out what my wife wants to do with that box. I'm pretty sure it's going in the recycle bin. That's probably gonna go to the shed. The refrigerator has been cleaned out and everything's been organized. There's a ton of room in there. I kind of got this area organized a little better. It is what it is. Um, down here, that's all empty. The heater, I took it apart, I cleaned it. Everything looks great in there. All I gotta do is fill the reservoir at the bottom with kerosene, fire it up, and I've got about four gallons of kerosene. So the garage is done with the exception of mopping the floor, and uh, I'm really happy about that. So what I'm gonna do now is get outside and uh, get these reefs hung so that that is off my to-do list. Hello, everybody, how are you doing? It is Sunday, I don't know, one o'clock, 1.30, something like that. I'm finally out in the shop. I got a little time, and I've got uh, four blanks over here that I'm gonna start turning. I hope to finish two of them today, get them into pins. If I get anything more than that done, it'd be great because I don't really expect to spend my whole day out here in the shop. 
um, you know, because the kids are starting to come in for Thanksgiving and that type of stuff. And I want to be able to uh, visit with them and probably play games this evening, that type of stuff. So, uh, but I got a couple of hours before anything happens. So uh, I'm going to start off with this chaos blank, one of my new chaos blanks that I had recently made. And we're going to get that turned and hopefully into a pin kit uh, right off the bat here and see what she looks like. I will keep you posted. I want to show you guys what I've been working on. Take a look at this. This is one of my new chaos blanks, the new style I just made. They're almost all gone. I have just a handful of them left. You'll notice some rippling in there. What caused that? It did not have that until I hit it with activator. I normally don't do that, but it's so cold in the shop. There's no moisture in the air. And basically I could not get the CA to dry. So on the very last coat, I hit it with activator and it gave me that rippling. But that's not an issue. I have a very thick coat of CA, or several very thick coats of CA on here. And uh, the micro mesh will remove every bit of that. So I'm excited. This is a gorgeous blank. Can't wait to show it to you. I got something else I want to show you guys. Take a look at this. Might not look like much to you, but it is to me. I bought a replacement remote for my dust collector. So now I can turn it on from down here again. And I don't have to go up the ladder every time I want to fire up the dust collector. And I have already used it probably a dozen times. It is so convenient. I should have bought it a long time ago. I just kept postponing and postponing. Also, I loved those chaos blanks so much that I've gone up and I've got some maple. I've got some more oak and I've got some ippy here. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe get one more if I can find it, one more really stark different color of wood, like I'd like to find another piece of Purple Heart or something along those lines, just to throw in every now and then to kind of throw it off. But we're going to make another set of Chaos Blanks using this wood because I'm excited about how these new ones are turning out. I finished it. Take a look at this. Is that not a gorgeous blank? The pin looks amazing. I love how it turned out. This, the latest iteration of Chaos. And I have another one on the way, so I'm excited about that. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, this blank and this pin. I, I am just ecstatic with how it turned out. I just pulled this Vesper kit and this gorgeous, absolutely stunning spalted maple blank off my table. We're going to start preparing to turn it. We are going to have to use secret compartment uh, keychain bushings. These were the closest ones I had to the size of this pin. Um, I can't remember if they're like one, a couple of hundreds over or a couple of hundreds under the proper size we need. I'm going to look that up real quick before I get started and uh, we'll make an adjustment on turning, but I think we should be able to have a gorgeous pin here shortly. Keep you guys posted. Here's my latest pin. This is the Vesper and I turned it using bushings from the secret compartment um, keychain kit. Worked out perfectly. I love it. The blank is gorgeous. I love spalted maple. It's a stylus kit. Really nice kit. Well, guys, my plan was to get two pins done today. Anything else was a bonus. Um, the first pin I had a little bit of an issue with and had to redo the CA finish uh, because there's no moisture in the air. The CA didn't dry properly. Um, that's okay. It is freezing cold out here. My hands are getting numb. So I got my two pins done. I got some stuff pulled out of the uh, loft for uh, some future blanks, so I'm happy about that. I'm good with the day, and I'm calling it a day. I'm going to get in the house and warm up. You guys have a great rest of your day. Any of you who celebrate Thanksgiving here in the U.S., I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, everybody else, I want to wish you a wonderful week ahead. I hope things go great for you, and uh, we'll see you guys again real, real soon. Bye-bye.